I'm RJ Perkins, and welcome to the Bellman Sports Broadcasting Show. Now, first, we're going to look at a video of a pole vaulter here at Bellman University. Let's take a look. Ben Stone, a pole vaulter here at Bellman on the men's track team, has flown under the radar for most of the season, but is fairly new to pole vaulting himself. I started pole vaulting my senior year of high school, or the summer between my junior and senior year of high school. And I got into it because I wanted to do the decathlon uh, in AAU track, and that involves 10 events, and one of them being pole vault. So that was whenever I first started pole vaulting. I actually wanted to get into it my freshman year of high school, but my coach wouldn't let me. And then my senior year, the only year I jumped in high school, I ended up breaking all the records at the school. Although he's fairly new to pole vaulting, he knows what it takes to be a good pole vaulter. Um, I would say the most important thing that you need to do uh, to have whenever you pole vault is speed on the runway. And the second most important thing you need is strength, upper body strength. So um, whenever the place I jump at in Shelbyville, the coach there, uh, she will not take you in and let you start jumping until you can, for the girls, you can do one pull up or for the guys, you can do 10 pull-ups. So that shows the, a little bit of the strength you just need to get into pole vault. But the season at a near end, Ben still has some goals this season that he would like to accomplish. Uh, well, my biggest goal for this season is just to PR. Pole vault not being my only event, I'm hoping to do good in the rest of my events that I do in the decathlon. But for pole vault specifically, I would like to jump at least 16 feet this year. Although you won't be seeing Ben here at Bellevue University, the track team will be at Lewis University this week for the GLBC Outdoor Championship. This is RJ Perkins, Bellevue Sports. Now joining us today is Brad Washley here. Brad, how you doing, sir? Good, how about you? I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> now, uh, first question I want to ask you is about um, you know, being uh, present club basketball, you know, can you elaborate more on, you know, the role it takes? Just, uh, sure thing. Um, so as far as I uh, just had kind of have to go back to be, when it's so getting it started, uh, I knew it would take a lot of work, just like being in charge of any other club, RSO so stuff like that. You have to manage the timing, when you schedule games. Uh, managing budgeting stuff like that having money so we can go on these trips these hotels stuff like that getting gear we need like specified balls the jerseys we got and then managing meetings stuff like that when i can meet with officers and stuff like that so it's really just a it's a mix of being able to manage my time and know like when i need to do this uh, when i need to do that keeping track of everything making sure everything everything's in order so that way it doesn't become a problem for my, my guys my coaches and everyone else so I try to be the first one that's on top of everything else. All right, and uh, with all these roles and dues that you have as president of the club, men's club basketball team, uh, how are you able to uh, balance that with, uh, you know, being a student here at Bellamy? Um, I think I kind of see it as, because uh, 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 on the side, I'm a practice player for the girls too. So like I'm going to their practices. So being a part of all that, it kind of, it's really helped me like understand that when I'm not, consuming my time with basketball with so with like club and then practicing with the girls when I'm not doing that I'm committing my time to my studies kind of like seeing how how they do like they're all about practice and then they're about class and studies so they're obviously about what's important first so I've kind of learned to like pick up on how to manage throughout the day so like if I got a class in the morning and practice in the afternoon uh, class then take care of whatever I need to out after class practice and then say we have club practice, doing homework and anything I need to before or after that. So just kind of managing, making sure I take care of class important first and then get to basketball. All right, good. But um, also with, uh, you know, being a practice player for the girls basketball team, how's that experience been so far? Um, it's been it's been really fun. Uh, I never really knew that that was a possible thing, but uh, I work in athletics majority of the time during the year. so. Uh, one of the uh, ADs that's in there, Pam, uh, she really, she uh, recommended the idea to me saying that uh, it'd be a good idea for me, like, just to go out there, see if I can provide any assistance to them, just because uh, I'm just being able to jump a little, having a little bit of a higher jump, uh, moving a little quicker, like, any kind of advantage I can, like, 
force them to work a little harder. Um, it's been a lot of fun for me because I get to be a part of everything they do. So uh, at the same time I'm helping them improve, I get to work on my own game, my own skills. And there's still times, like even now, like there are things that like when I practice with them, there are things that I'm like, oh, well, I'm still not at that level. It's something like that I want to be at. So I see it as a chance to not just help them, but also reflect in where I can get better too. Okay. Well, uh, you know, being, you know, uh, being, being around all the girls, you know, all the basketball players, is there actually a favorite? Do you have any favorites, Brad? Um. <laughs> I do. I no. I do not have any favorites. Uh, being around them and the coaches, it's all the same. It's it's a joy to be around every single one of them, and I'm not going to be picking out any favorites because I don't feel like. Come on, I know you have a favorite. No, I do not. You, you sure? Because I know if I start picking favorites, then people are going to try and pick fights with me. Okay. That's a good answer. I'll, I'll probably say that answer too, but I probably wouldn't either because I have favorites too. But we have to go on the record. Fine, Raven and Beth. Well, there you have it. Uh, Brad Washley joined us. Thank you, Brad, for joining us. Thanks for having me. And now here's a story on Brad Washley uh, and also his passion for basketball and how that has developed into different outlets. Let's check out the story. Brad Washley, a student here at Bellman University, has a strong passion for basketball. And because of this, he continues to have a strong work ethic. Well, um, I've always loved basketball since I was a kid. You know, like when you when you're growing up, uh, you see like all these all the uh, professional athletes like doing things they love, and uh, everybody with their own different type. And I just fell in love with basketball. Moreover, just like the the skill side of it, I fell like in love with like uh, more like the in depth part of it, like why you why we you run certain plays, why certain things are done certain ways, why you should perfect certain crafts. Just like the overall, like how basketball works, the mental side of it, I fell in love with just like all that whole side and why things have to work a certain way and why players are really as great as they are that people don't see off the court. So it's really like the hard work and everything that most people don't see. Craig clearly has a great work ethic when it comes to sports in general. Of course, he used to play lacrosse and basketball. And when we came here, we thought of, you know, bringing back club basketball. And Brad was just so excited and the work he's put in as men pretty tremendous because he knows to be productive in club basketball. You have to work hard in your off season, off time and everything. So when he goes and puts in work in the gym, it definitely transfers to the court. And when he's just playing pickups, you're working your handles, shooting, shooting drills and everything, it actually shows on the court. So he has a great work ethic when it comes to club basketball and sports in general. Because we all know he's athletic, but he takes the athleticism and transfers it to the court. His passion for basketball has developed into different outlets, as for the past two years, he's been the president of the men's club basketball team. Um, I think it goes a long way, because uh, when, like, when I took over for the club basketball, we didn't really, uh, we didn't have one at that time, and uh, I got a lot of friends who love to play basketball, and so, like, it's just another way for me to really think about basketball all the time, because in addition to, like, outside of, like, practices, because I also play and everything. Uh, it gives me a chance just to think more about basketball because, you know, we got to deal with all the business side of it, the jerseys and everything. Uh, we draw up all the plays and travel schedules and everything. We coordinate with who we play and all that stuff. So, I mean, just outside of playing, which is also obviously my favorite part of all, it just gives me more of a reason to just to think about basketball because every day, every other day, I'm thinking about what's got to be done for club. Uh, is this ready? Is practice ready? Are we going to be leaving on time for games? Are we good to go? Everything like that. So I just, it really, it's really good because it lets me focus on basketball the majority of every day and I'm very grateful for it. I think being around me has definitely helped him as grown as a basketball player and understanding the game. But for me, of course, I've coached basketball before, club basketball, and I also coached baseball. So being around a coach from his standpoint, you can tell that he has grown to, to understand where the referee thinks, how the coach think, and how the players think, of course. So when he's around me, you can tell his basketball knowledge continues to grow, so whether it's from watching basketball, watching pro NCAA, or just watching other club games, and just being around me, it definitely helps him grow as a basketball player. With Brad's passion of basketball, there's a couple different career paths that he's looking into in the near future. Um, growing up, I always thought it'd be really fun to be an analyst, just like uh, getting to sit up there and just, just talk about whether, even though uh, basketball might be my favorite sport, I love talking about other sports like football, soccer, lacrosse. 
So broadcasting, analyst, that would definitely be something I want to enjoy. Uh, but the older I get and the more I kind of stick around basketball, the more I kind of do want to try coaching just because being able to teach the things that you pick up. I'm, I'm 21, so like by the time you say I'm, I'm ready to move on to the next phase of my life, maybe 10 years down the line, there will be some kid, like 14, da-da-da, that maybe I could pass on the things that I learned. So maybe, I know for sure I want to do broadcasting and analyst, and hopefully there's something I can find down there. But I will try to dabble in coaching at least once or in a couple different spots just because if I can stay with basketball the rest of my life, then I've got it made regardless. So if you want to talk basketball with someone, look for Brad Washington walking around campus. This is RJ Perkins, Bellman Sports. Well, thanks for joining us here. I'm RJ Perkins. Uh, and thanks for watching the Bellman Sports Broadcasting Show. Have a good day.